The budget PC which I'll recommend to you now will be capable of running all of today's games at a 1080p resolution. The graphical settings depending of course on the game which you are playing. All the parts mentioned in this budget build recommendation are linked in the video description below, so check those out if you're interested in building this PC or something similar. So let's start going through the parts for this build. First up is the processor, and this type is really a no-brainer. The KB Lake Intel Pentium G4560 released last month features two cores with hyper-threading support, therefore enabling four threads. So essentially this renders the Intel Core i3 processors out of budget builds, as they also have two cores and four threads. The only real difference is the Pentium is clocked a little lower, but with the G4560 being almost half the price of the cheapest i3 CPU, it is the new budget build king in my opinion. Next we have the motherboard. Most of the motherboards you can get for around the $50 price point have the same specifications and hardware support. So to see any real feature upgrade you would need to go an extra $15 to $20 more expensive. But since this is a budget build and we want to save as much money as possible, I decided to go for the Gigabyte GA H110M-H motherboard which has support for everything we need. This will get the job done for a budget build. Next we have the memory. Memory is constantly rising in price compared to even last year which means that for budget builds, $10 to $20 more needs to be spent on memory. With that being said, I went for the cheapest, reliable 2x4GB kit that was there and that was the crucial DDR4 2133MHz memory. It doesn't look fancy but has all the performance we will need for this build. Next we have the hard drive and for this I just went with a 1TB Seagate Barracuda. It'll be plenty for a budget build. If you want to save money on space and opt for a 500GB hard drive, you could save around $10 on the build. Next up we have the graphics card. And there's lots of different price points out there right now for graphics cards. And if you decided to spend an extra $30 to $40, you could be seriously increasing the graphics performance of your build. For this build, I was deciding between the GTX 1050 and the RX 460. In the end, I went for the cheaper option, which was the Gigabyte RX 460 2 Gigabyte WinForce OC graphics card, as it saves about $20 on the build compared to the 1050. But like I said earlier, if you save $10 on a 500GB hard drive, you could opt to go for the GTX 1050 if you prefer. Next we have the case, and there's a few options here that we could have opted for, but I decided on the Fractal Design Core 1100 as I have had personal experience with this case. It has support for up to two 5.25 inch drives and two 3.25 inch drives. It comes pre-installed with a 120mm fan and has support for one USB 3.0 port on the front of the case. Last but not least we have the power supply, since this build won't be drawing massive amounts of power we still want at least an 80 plus bronze certified PSU. I decided with the XFX XT 500 watt ATX power supply as all my personal computers have had XFX power supplies and none of them have failed me. There's really many choices here for the power supplies so if you wanted to go for a cheaper unit or a different model PSU. An 80 plus bronze 400 watt PSU would still be sufficient. So that wraps up all the parts for this month's budget build. I have not included any monitor or accessories in this video as I wanted to solely focus on the computer itself. I will make videos on monitors, keyboards and mice in future videos which I hope you'll stick around for. As mentioned, all links to buy these parts will be in the video description below. Part prices may vary depending on where you live. So if the computer is either more expensive where you are, or cheaper where you are, you can use this build as a starting point and adjust the parts to meet your budget requirements. If you could be so awesome to leave a like on this video and share it with anybody you know looking for a budget PC, it would really help me out. If you have any questions, please comment below and I will reply to them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.